So we're going to take a tour of the palace. Sharon's inside getting tickets now. It's an amazing place, beautiful architecture. We'll wander around the grounds and see what we see. How many feet have walked up these stairs and worn them down? So the stained glass, the carved wood, all from the Catalan region, all of the fireplaces were designed by the same person. Apparently, the Marquis moved out in the 1980s. They had the most modern advances, including the first microwave, which was shipped over from the U.S. Right next door is the house that Gaudi designed. Even though Capriccio de Gaudi is right next to the palace, you have to go for quite a ways to uh, actually get to the entrance. The family, needless to say, had great influence in this town. All right, we found it. See if there are any tickets available. So they did have tickets available, seven euros for adults. And if you're over a certain age in the mid sixties, five euros. The greenhouse. For Gaudi, it was all about nature and incorporating nature into everything he did. Gaudi's father was a boilermaker, influenced him greatly in building his houses and he used iron in a, an amazing fanciful way. Needless to say, you need to stop here when you're in Camillas. If you love architecture, if you love Gaudi, I think I've taken an hour and a half worth of video and thousands of pictures. How I'm going to distill all of this down into 10 minutes, I have no idea. You have to go here yourself to really appreciate it. So we got some bread for tomorrow, so 
some torta maiz, and uh, something that looks like flan. What an amazing town. Check out these windows. So the people I put this town on the map were from Barcelona. And uh, they would come here for the summers and even now, members of the uh, aristocracy continue to come here. Here are the gates designed by Gaudí. Puerta de los Pájaros, constructed in 1900, Antonio Gaudí. Beautiful private home behind it. An opening for people, an opening for cars, and an opening for birds. And that's right next to where we parked, so that parking lot is about as ideal as it gets. Free public parking if you get here fairly early, I guess. This used to be the old prison. It was built in the 1870s and paid for by some people in Camillas. But now, it's a hostel on the Camino de Santiago. We're winging it now. See where the trail goes. I think it's going to take us where we want to go. First marquee of Camillas. It depicts a ship in dry dock with half the keel suspended in the air. Here's the guardian angel. This was built on the built on the ruins of the first village church. This wall was put up later by the marquee. The purpose of the guardian angel was to protect the Marquis's eldest son. His eldest son relinquished that and allowed the angel to protect the population of Camillas. That was nice of him, very generous. Be sure and stop once in a while and just look around. Take those side streets. Be daring. Here's the original town hall, and there's a painting exposition going on. They're open. What do you think? We check it out? Why not? Tourists. That's right. That's what we are. That was nothing short of incredible. We got to meet the artist. We bought one of his prints. We had a very long conversation with him. Sharon had a very long conversation <laughs> with him. As I attempted to follow along, beautiful, beautiful paintings. I would definitely recommend looking them up online. There are some hikers. There's the hotel. And like every hotel, you need a chapel. And so the hunt begins for some place to eat. Although, thank you Google Maps, I think we found a place. No lack of restaurants, that's good. And it's a Monday, so it looks like it's going to be relatively quiet. There's plenty of places to sit. So I've looked at all the menus. Some are raciones, some are menu del dia. And we're going to settle on this one because they seem to have a good selection of fish. 16 euros for menu of the day. That's a little pricey, but it is a tourist town. Excellent food, right? Very good food. Not spectacular, but very good. Uno. Plus, when the waiter comes to your table, it wouldn't hurt to put your mask on because they're running across people left and right all day long. Dos. Don't mistake your mask for your napkin. It pretty much defeats the purpose of having a mask at all. This is where the fishermen would come to pray before they went out. They might be gone for months at a time. The whaling industry also uh, was quite dominant here for a period of time. I suspect they didn't have the graffiti.
How do you get to the beach? Follow the people at are carrying beach chairs. Street versus stairs. Stairs win. One centavos, a minute. You can pay by the minute. Here's the university. The tours begin in about 50 minutes, five zero minutes, and I suspect it's gonna take us that long just to get there because we're gonna take our time. So, do we continue on the road or do we take a path that does not look that well-traveled? So we're gonna play Billy Goat and go up the uh, path. This is probably the way the students had to go when they were attending university. Well, we just saved five minutes. The university has an amazing view. And you can drive your car up here too, if you want to spend a few more euros. But we wanted to get in a little more exercise today because we hadn't had enough. That's sarcasm. What a great tour. Great tour guide. And my own tour guide did all the translating as she heard it, and that's not easy. So walking back to the car, we came across this nice little supermarket. It has local produce, local products. It's the uh, grocery store of the local uh, farmers. And I used there are a few in Spain, several. But uh, I would definitely recommend giving them your business. And something very unique you don't really see very often. She took out one of the pieces of fruit that we bought saying it was too ripe. And she replaced it with something that was better. That's where you want to go. And it's right on the way back to the parking lot. So you can't beat that. Right. Amazing. We're heading back to our casa. It's going to be a quiet night at home, I think. I hope you enjoyed walking around town with us. We feel like we know our way around now. If you enjoyed spending the day with us, I'm really glad you did. We'll end right here. Hasta luego. Be safe. Take care of your loved ones. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And we'll see you soon. Adios.